Dear students, I welcome you all to this lecture. Today we are going to talk about Satwahana rule in India. You know the decline of Mauryas from the political landscape of India paved way to a number of powers in different parts of India. A number of powers emerged in the north, some are being of local origin, while others came from outside. Like in the north, from South India, as well as we see the emergence of various powers. The first to come from South India were the Satavahanas in the Deccan. With the rise of Satavahana, we witnessed the foundation of the first monarchical polity coming from this region. So, today's our lecture will be all about the Satavahanas. Before coming to the very elaborate section of it, let's first discuss the main objectives. Our first objective is to know about the sources of Satavahana history. Our second objective will be about to know about the political and administrative structure of Satavahanas and to understand the impact of Satavahana on the social and political landscape of South India. So let's begin with sources. We have a variety of sources on the history of Satavahana, both in the form of archaeological and literary texts. However, most of the information about the Satavahanas comes from a literary genre called the Puranas. The Puranas contain a long list of Satavahana rulers. The list can also be used in conjunction with other literary and archaeological sources. There are problems in using Puranas as a source independently as the name and duration of different rulers varies in different Puranas. There are number of myths and legends mentioned in Puranas which totally distort the picture of Satavahana rule. However, if we use the information provided by them in light of the other sources or in comparison with the other sources like coins and inscription, they become an important source on Satavahana, especially on their political history. As we know that Satavahanas minted large number of coins in lead, silver and alloy of copper. The silver coins of Satavahana rulers carry the image of the kings and their names. The other source that provide valuable information about the Satavahana are the edicts discovered in Buddhist rock cut caves and record donations made by Satavahana kings and queens to the people of their kingdom. By comparing the information available in these different sources, scholars generally accept that the Satavahanas began their rule in the 1st century BCE. The earliest record is found engraved on rock in cave near Nasik in Maharashtra. Now let's talk about their antecedents. Some scholars earlier thought that Mauryas were succeeded by Satavahanas, but recent archaeological and numismatic evidences have shown that there was a distinct post-Mauryan phase which is now believed was an intermediary phase between the fall of the Mauryan Empire and the emergence of the Satavahanas. According to a scholar called B.D. Chattopadhyay, after the decline of Mauryan Empire, there emerged a large number of small regional political principalities in the various parts of the Deccan much before the rise of Satavahanas. This is reflected from the discoveries of coins bearing the names of Maharati, which has been excavated from the sites of Verapuram. Similarly, the coins of Kura rulers have been discovered at Brahmapuri and both of these coins belong to pre-Satavahana period. We also find the names of local leaders like Kambaya, Chimuka, Gobhadra, Samigopa and Naron from the coins found at Kota Lingala which also testifies the pre-Satavahana rule marked the rise local feudatories. Similarly, we also find the name of a local Raja Kubiraka on an inscription found on a relic casket at Bhatti Prolu which belonged to late 2nd century BCE. All these sources indicates rise of a local powers in between the fall of Mauryas and the emergence of the Satavahanas. Now let's move to the political history of the Satavahanas. First century BCE marked the rise of Satavahana rule in India with Python as a powerful political center since the time of its first ruler Saimuka belonged to late first century BC. And they ruled for almost 250 years. Satavahanas have primarily originated in the regions located eastern Deccan, which means between the Krishna and the Godavari rivers. Originally, they started their rule in central Deccan with Pratishthana 
which is modern Python in Maharashtra as their imperial capital. The Satavahanas are identical with the Andhras of Puranas. They have been mentioned in the Sanskrit Puranic texts as the people belonging to the Andhra Jati or as Andhra Bhrityas. Some scholars are not clear whether they have started their rule from the Eastern or Western Deccan. Since they call themselves Andhras, they probably belong to the Andhra tribe. Some scholars are of the opinion that Satavahanas were the subordinates of the Mauryas and they made their observation by referring to the term Andhra Bhrityas. Bhritya means servant or subordinate. Others raised a voice over such observation by saying that Andhra Bhritya originally means servant of the Andhras. Thus, it may apply not to the Satavahanas but to their successors. The discovery of coins in the Karimnagar district of Andhra Pradesh indicates that Satavahanas had begun their rule from Eastern Deccan. But the discovery of inscription at Nanegat and Nasik caves point to the Western Deccan as their initial base. Some scholars are of the opinion that Satavahanas had started their rule from Python in the Western Deccan and from there they expanded to the Eastern Deccan, Andhra and the Western coast. Inscriptions of Ashok mention Andhras at the subject of the Mauryan Empire. The inscriptions of the dynasty mention them as Satavahanas, not as Andhras or Andhrabhityas. We find a long list of Satavahana rulers of Andhra from the Puranas. 130 names are given in Matsya and the Brahmanda Purana, who ruled for almost 460 years. On the other side, the list of 17 kings are given in the Vayu Puran, who ruled for almost 300 years. From the archaeological sources like coins and inscriptions, 15 Satavahana kings had been identified who ruled India from 50 BC to 225 AD. Scholars mention that the rule of 15 kings seems to be logical as far as the years are concerned as against the years mentioned in the Puranas. Thus we can say that the Satavahanas ruled from about the 1st century BCE to 3rd century AD. The Satavahana inscription are found at Nasik and Nanegat in the Western Deccan. Similarly, we find numismatic evidences of Satavahanas from the archaeological sites of Nivesa, Ahmednagar district, Maharashtra. This suggests that they also control the central Deccan. Pratisthana or Python in central Deccan was the capital of Satavahanas and this is confirmed both by the Puranas and by the Ptolemy. Satavahanas, after losing their control in the west, moved towards east and southwards in the later years of their rule. By the archaeological sources and the Puranic texts mentioned the Saimuka, also called the Sisuka, was the first known ruler of the Satavahana kingdom. The name of the Saimuka is mentioned as Chimuka in his coins and archaeologists placed his rule around 1st century BCE. Kanha or Krishna succeeded his brother Saimuka. Kanha extended the borders of his kingdom and controlled eastern parts of Deccan up to Nasik. Kanha was succeeded by Satakarni I. Queen Naganika's inscription at Nanegat called Satakarni I as the Lord of Dakan, that's the Dakshana Pathapati, and is mentioned in the sources as the powerful ruler of the dynasty. He probably conquered all the areas of eastern Deccan, and his coins have been discovered from the areas like Kundiniyanapura in Vidarbha. We did not get any clear evidence about who succeeded Satakarni I. But we get evidence of a king called Gautamiputra, Shri Satkarni, whose coins have been recently reported. It has been said that he ruled before the Gautamaputra Satkarni. The Puranic texts mention that Shivasati was a predecessor of Gautamiputra Satkarni. However, the most powerful king of the Satavahana kingdom was Gautamiputra Satkarni. Nasik Prasasti lauded the achievements and personality of Gautamiputra Satkarni, the praise of the king on the inscription is to be believed was engraved by his mother Gautami Balashri during the reign of Vashishtha Putra Pulumavi. The lines engraved on the inscription described him as the destroyer of the Pallavas, Sakas and Yavanas. It also lauded him as the destroyer of Shaharata dynasty and restorer of the glory of Satavana family Kha Kharatava Sanirva Sheshakara. 
Satavahana Kulayasa, Patita Pana Kara. The struggle between the Shakas and Satavahanas was fought in three phases. The first phase is described by the author of Peripolis of the Eritrean Sea. He says, when the king Berigaza Rambanus put a naval blockade around the port of Kalini or Kalyan and forced the cargoes to go to Berigaza. The prosperity of the port of Kalyan waned and this can be judged from the fact that we did not find evidences of this port in the list available in the geography of Ptolemy 150 CE. During the time of Gautami Putra Satkarni, the second phase of the dynasty started. We get the evidence of this phase from the Nasik Prasasti and coins of these two dynasties. Jogal Thambi hold of coins yielding more than 13,000 coins issued by the Saka ruler Nahapana. More than 9,000 of these coins were found counterstruck by Gautami Putra Satkarni, which gives us information about the success of Satavahanas against the Shakas. Counterstruck coins of kings fully confirms us about Satavahana we are victorious. In the 18th regional year of Gautami Putra Satkarni, the third phase of Satavahana rule started. In this phase, after ousting Usava Datta, who was the Nahapana son-in-law, Kheta Maja Kalakiyam Usava Dati Nabuktam donated a piece of land to a Buddhist monastery near Nasik. This land was taken by Satkarni from Usava Datta after defeating him. Gautami Putra Satkarni has been described by the Nasik Prasasti, the Lord of Kuruka, Northern Kathiawad in Gujarat, Asaka, Asmaka to the north of Rishika, Asika, Rishika between the Godavari and the Krishna, Mulaka, area around Pratishthana in the central Deccan, Akaravanti, that's Avanti located around Ujjaini in western Malwa. Akara in eastern Malwa around modern Sanchi Vidisha Bhopal region in Madhya Pradesh. Vidarbha, Vidarbha in Nagpur and Anupa Mahismati to the south of Narmada. He has also been described as lord of the following mountains of south, Pavatapati, Laika Chavat, Rikshavat, part of the Vindhya to the north of the Narmada. Vijha or Vindhya or the eastern part of Vindhya range, Sahaya, Sahdari or the western Ghats, Parichata or Paripatra or the present Aravali mountains, Kanhagari, that's Kanheri near Mumbai, Mahindra, eastern Ghats and Sita Giri, the hill near Nagarjuna Konda in the Gantur area of Andhra Pradesh. When he is praised as the king whose mounts drank the water of three oceans, Tisa Muda Tiyo Pithavahana, Controlling the whole of the territory from eastern to western seaboards, he has correctly received the title as the Lord of Dakkan, that's the Dakshana Pathapati. It was only Gautami Putra Satkarni who merged the states of northern Narmada, example eastern and western Malwa, and southern parts of Gujarat to Satavahana Kingdom. This was first time in the history of Deccan that rule of the Deccan was expanded beyond Narmada River usually known as the northern border of the Deccan. Vashishti Putra Pulumavi, the son of Gautami Putra Satkarni, became his successor. Like his father, he ruled for about 24 years from 130 to 154 CE. He has been identified with Ciro, Ptolemy Shri Pulumavi of Ptolemy's geography. Betana or Python continued to remain his political center. Four inscriptions that's years 2, 6, 19 and 22 of his era has been discovered in Nasik, which means he retained his control over this area and also over Karle near Pune. Apart from that, Amravati region was also under his control as his inscription from Amravati in Eastern Deccan suggests that. The ships shown in his coin suggests his control over the sea trade. Satavahanas faced a lot of difficulty at the hands of the conquest of Rudradaman first, but they managed to retain their control over territories of Nasik and Western Deccan. Two inscriptions of Vashishti Putra, Satakarni from Nasik and Nanigat in his year 13 have been found. Among the later Satavahana kings, the name of Yajna Shri Satakarni is prominent. His inscriptions mentions that he ruled about 27 years during which the Satavahana continued to rule over the territories comprised Nasik, 
वेस्टर्न डेकन ईस्टर्न डेकन एंड विदर्भ ही हैज बीन मैं एज द लास्ट ऑफ द पावरफुल किंग्स ऑफ सतवाहाना किंगडम ऑल हिज सक्सेसर किंग्स रूल्ड ओवर अ मच रिड्यूस टेरिटरी विच वॉज कन्फाइन टू आंध्र प्रदेश एंड द बिलारी एरिया ऑफ कर्नाटक सिल्वर क्वाइंस विथ बस्ट इशूड बाई लेटर सतवाहना मोस्टली प्रोवाइड अस इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैम वशिष्ठी पुत्र पुलमावी स्टार्टेड इशूइंग सच टाइप्स ऑफ क्वाइंस विच कंटिन्यूड टिल द एंड ऑफ सतवाहना रूल इन ऑल द साइट्स ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश द क्वाइंस ऑफ विशिष्टी पुत्र पुलमावी वेयर डिस्कवर्ड बस टाइप ऑफ सिल्वर क्वाइंस बिलोंग्स टू द फॉलोइंग रूलर्स वशिष्ठ पुत्र सतकर्णी याजना श्री सतकर्णी वशिष्ठ पुत्र विजय सतकर्णी वशिष्ठ पुत्र शिवा श्री पुलमावी वशिष्ठ पुत्र सिकंद सतकर्णी वे आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन वेरियस साइट्स मदारा पुत्र पुलमावीज नेम इज मैंशनड इन सम कॉइंस हु मे ऑल्सो बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ लेट सतवाहन रूलर ऑल दीज रूलर्स प्रोबेबली रूल्ड फॉर अ वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड पुरानिक सोर्सेज डू नॉट मैंशन सम नेम्स ऑफ लेटर सतवाहना रूलर्स एंड आर ओनली नोन थ्रू देयर क्वाइंस द क्वाइंस विथ बाइलिंग लेजेंड्स इन एडिशन टू द नेम ऑफ द किंग्स इन प्राकृत ऑल्सो कैरीड अ लेजेंड इन साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेज वे आर इशूड ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ सतवाहना द एंड ऑफ द सतवाहना पोलिटिकल प्रेजेंस इन डेकन इज लाइकली टू हैव टेकन प्लेस इन टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सी ई द एंड ऑफ द सतवाहना रूल paved the way for the rise of vakatakas in the deccan the interest of satwahanas in the commercial activities is reflected from their regular issuance of coins with ship motifs single or double masted grand epithets were bestowed upon the satwahana rulers when they were compared in velor with several epic heroes brahmanical tradition and vedic sacrifice like ashwamedha Vajapaya and Rajasuya were performed by the Satwahana kings. Brahmanical literature glorified Gautami Putra Satkarni in protecting the Varna system. Vini Vatita Chhu to Varna Samkara. Inscription showed that Satwahana rulers gave equal importance and status to their coins. Both Nayanika and Gautami Balashiri were given equal powers. Nayanika, in fact, served as a queen regent. when her son was a minor her names inscribed on one side of coins with her spouse satkarni's name on the other now let's shift to the administration of the satwahanas like indo greeks kushanas shaharatas kardamaka rulers satwahanas too maintained diversified and large armies in view of the numerous wars which they fought against shakas the satwahana ruled in different pockets and we are always engaged in colonizing other areas their territorial expansion was based on the strength of their army apart from the cavalry the satwahanas possessed infantry chariots and elephant forces the army commander was known as as mahasenapati often associated however with discharging civil functions revenue from agriculture production was a main source used for the maintenance of the civil and military forces apart from it revenue was also collected from artisans associated with different crafts karukara including a tax on salt production lola khandakam diversified revenue demands appear to be in a marker of the emergence of a fancy monarchical under the satavahanas we discover that for both the sakas and the satavahanas management of nasik junar and karle were vital as these were important cities since they commanded the passes that gave the ports of the northern konkan access to the hinterland the shaka satavahana struggle or the prolonged conflict between the two royal homes dominates the history of this period additionally to the chhatrapas satavahana kings had to handle the ability of king kharavela from odisha or kalinga he is purported to have sent a military to the west and it's notable that the satavahana power suffered setback each at the hands of the chhatrapas and kharavela the satavahanas might have maintained some form of relationship with the native chiefs although the character of this is not clear for example 
the inscriptions seek advice from wedding relations of the satavahanas with the maharatis and therefore the mahabhojas in fact queen nayanika herself was a girl of a maharati maharatis are conjointly notable to own created freelance donations most of their inscriptions are found around karle the records of the mahabhojas on the opposite hand occur on the western coast the advent of satavahanas on the political landscape of deccan and south india was significant in many ways firstly owing to satavahanas these regions witnessed the advent of for the first time monarchical form of polity and governance which was obviously borrowed from the northern mauryan empire secondly this empire played a very vibrant role in bringing to its areas of rule the northern brahmanical religion and lifestyle to these areas this is known from the various activities perpetuated by the different satavahana rulers like championizing brahmanical gods rituals and sacrifices thus there is nothing wrong to conclude that satavahanas acted as intermediary in taking further the north indian trades to deccan and the south as the process has started since 6th century bc dear students with this i conclude my today's lecture hope you have enjoyed and understood it well see you in the next lecture till then take care and goodbye